FSW. And actually, my intro is a, a text request. And it says, uh, Steve, please, please, please replay that song that you wrote for Josh Wolf for your intro a while oh. back. Now, if you don't remember, this is from a couple of years ago. Hit it, Rev. We love our next guest. He tells a great joke. He's on Chelsea lately, a girl he used to poke. He's at the parlor live. My name is Earl, a show where he died. He makes us laugh. He is funny. He is Josh Wolf. Okay. Yeah, that was, it uh, kind of looks like he looks like the retarded half of Right Said Fred singing. Thank you. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Josh Wolf. <laughs> uh, can I say, I think what Randy Jackson would have said, a little pitchy, yeah, dog. Just a little bit pitchy. Especially that wolf part. Wolf. Yeah, a little, I'm working a little on pitchy. It. But you will never, ever have an intro like that again no. in your life. Did you guys know, speaking of singing shows, did you watch The Voice? at all. I'm obsessed with The Voice. No, the Voice yeah. is a good show. What Can Christina Aguilera put on some pants? What is the deal? <laughs> <laughs> you, so were you watching what? it? I couldn't have, I'm like, oh yeah, a blazer and a button-down shirt. Respectable. <laughs> and then she gets up, she had sequin diapers on. Like, she looked <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, seriously, BJ, I was like, I was like, she's like my grandpa. Like, you gotta tell her before she leaves the house. Are you gonna put on some pants today? Or? <laughs> <laughs> but then the crazy part was that not episode or the episode so before she goes off on one of the guys that covered uh, 99 Problems But a Bitch Ain't One yeah. by Jay-Z. And she's yeah. like, well, that's degrading. And, and, and rumor has it, because it's a guy that used to be in the Mickey Mouse Club. Mm -hmm. that, uh, and rumor has it that she had a hots for him back then. So she kind of had it out for him the whole time. Uh, yeah. And so she's going off. He's like, I can't believe you would do a song that's so degrading to women, especially since you have a ma you're, you have a wife and a daughter. Really? And then she shows up and she has no pants on. I know. And not only that, he doesn't have a daughter. That's his son. I know. I was like, oh, boy. Now, now you watched. You did watch. It? Did you watch CeeLo well, Green? Steve, Steve actually watches I more watch than it. I do. Yeah, I watch it every week. I mean, CeeLo looks like, she, he looks like a real life talking Eminem. Yeah. I mean, that dude. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he is a big gentleman. With T-Rex arms. Yeah, what he does. What happened to him? I, I love he's always holding that cat. I know, he looks yeah. like, a, like, a, like a James Bond villain. Yeah, <laughs> he, do, he, looks like a, yeah, he looks like a bloated Dr. Evil is what he, he looks like. Yeah, yeah, it looks like someone took put the wrong arms on a Mr. Potato Head and left it there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. The, Oh, what man. happened to him? Yeah, I, I, I don't, you know, I think success is what that's called. <laughs> Seriously, I uh, think he's like a turtle. Like, if you pushed him on his back, <laughs> he would be like, ah! But I love it, dude, because he's showing that almost anybody can be on TV. I never thought I'd have a shot on TV, but CeeLo, at least, at least my, my dreams can come true that maybe they'll put a camera on my face and I won't scare too many people. Yeah, maybe. but you need to put on, uh, you need to shrink seven inches and put yeah. on 600 pounds. I can do it. <laughs> you know what? I can do that because it doesn't require going to the gym. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> what he's got requires more than going to the gym. Yeah. That's a commitment at the buffet table, my friend. I'm, I'm, not, sure, I'm not sure you I'm have ready. that kind of commitment. Commitment, we got you? good buffets. We got good buffets around here. Now I, I hey, can I just say one yes, thing? Yes, because I, I because I heard about the whole in that line for the you know the Josh Wolf song. Yeah, was the more successful Chelsea lately Chelsea Handler gets. Yes, the more she distances herself from ever having a relationship with Josh Wolf. <laughs> uh, I noticed yeah. that, and I don't blame her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we first met you, it's like, hey, you know what? Not bad. You know what? Josh is a good looking dude, right. and I felt like they both at the time were you know is equally successful. But Chelsea has just become an amazing, amazing. Star. Star, and, and and I'm thinking she's like I don't know who I know he's on. <laughs> Who's that guy? I would look, look, take it one look. Do you think I would do that? It's a rumor. I would never do that. Now, what I took away from what you just said is Chelsea is an amazing, amazing star, That's right. and you not so much. Well, That's listen, kind of what, <laughs> I took that too. That's hey. a is fight that in my parish. That? Yeah. That's yeah. kind of what let's I took not, away let's from not that. Let's not mince words. <laughs> You're done, my friend. Your career's over. I, let's, I don't want you to misunderstand it. You're done. We're having you on here because this is your farewell tour. This is tour. the funeral? Yeah. This is the funeral? The Joshua farewell tour right here. Um, I, By the way, I was I was going to tell you, I, I heard that little commercial you did for the mattress store. Oh, that's right. And I don't know where you're going with this, but let's just say this. I'm going to keep the mattress come trip company unnamed just in case you go Josh Wolf on yeah. it. <laughs> uh, what we used to do for fun when I didn't have, I had no money and I had a girlfriend and and we just needed to entertain ourselves, we would get really drunk and go to different mattress stores. Oh, God. And, <laughs> what? <laughs> and I, we would lay down on the bed, and I would, like, push her face into the mattress, and I'd... <laughs> 
I'd call the mattress people over and go like, is this the most comfortable mattress for this position? Is that going to leave any marks on her forehead? Because I need to know. <laughs> if so, we need to move to another one. Now, do you have a softer headboard? Because we're going to need something with a little cushion. <laughs> they, BJ, they hated us. They banned us. From one mattress store. And that's uh, difficult because they really will tolerate them a lot because, mm. hey, they want to sell a product, but you really took it to a level where they said, okay, get out, sir. Yeah, well, one time I went in and I said, listen, in order for me to really know if I'm going to like this mattress, I need to know what it feels like <laughs> against my skin. Oh. <laughs> 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 so I took off my shirt, and the guy was like, what, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? I go, I just need to know what it's like against my skin. I started up and buttoning my pants. He was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, right. I go, I'm wearing boxers. He was like, no, 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 you can't get naked in the store. But uh, somewhere there's footage of me being kind of naked in, in a mattress store. That's awesome. awesome. Now, uh, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. My, uh, I should, uh, Raising Hope was renewed. Yes. So, uh, of course, I watched the season finale. I keep looking for, like, you know, where's that? Where's Let's do more howdies, because that's when Josh is going to show up as an employee at Howdy's. Yes, I did not this season because my schedule was so Oh, so busy. it was you. Yeah, it was, you turned I did, down Greg. I did. Said, no, Greg, no, I didn't I turn. Need... Hey, Greg, sorry. No, maybe no, I'll no. Maybe i wear a sombrero at the end of the show, <laughs> maybe. But that's, uh, I just can't do Wow, I didn't know you were that big, man. We were really, big. our schedules just never seemed to match up, but I did write an episode for him this year. Which one? Uh, you know the one, did you see the one where the guy put the, the pantyhose over his yes. head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was a good episode because his what's-her-face is a problem, right? Yeah, well said. C- could you be a little more vague? <laughs> I forgot her name. What's, the, uh, what's her face? That's how it's listed in IMDb. What's, yeah, no, what's, it's, what's, what's Jimmy's go- girlfriend's <laughs> the, I can't remember what's her name her face? on the show. It's What's Her Face. What's you her know, face. You nailed it. You but nailed I remember it. because she used to have to sleep in bed with pantyhose because she was afraid of the spiders in her ears. Now, can I tell you that it came from a real story? Really? Yeah, there's a guy that I know that when he was a kid, he woke up and he was screaming. He was like, ah! And he told his mom, he was like, I, I can't, I, I feel scratching, I feel scratching, I feel scratching. She took him to the doctor. A cockroach had call, crawled inside of his ear. Oh, and it better, he slept with pantyhose on his head until he was 16. <laughs> I would wow. do the same. <laughs> Dude, it, it was a great episode. Yeah. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.